tracking your fat. Literally, the Department of Health and Human Services wants to mandate that every person's BMI be measured and included in their electronic health record beginning in 2014. Is this going too far? Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, the president of the Institute for Liberty, Andrew Langer, and president of National Action Against Obesity, Mimi Roth. Good morning to both of you. Morning. Thanks, Rose. We told folks about this yesterday, and they were fired up. <laughs> and uh, not on your side, Mimi. People found this extremely intrusive. Sure. Andrew, why do you not like the idea? And this is part of the stimulus plan to track every American's BMI. Well, again, I mean, it gets back to this whole problem with the stimulus package itself. I mean, this is something that is not at all related to the idea of stimulating the economy. It is a big, big drag on it. And it really doesn't get us where we need to go in this uh, so-called war on fat. I mean, putting a fat stamp on everybody's medical records is not, uh, is not good public policy at all. We can all agree it's a good objective to try to fight the obesity in this country, but how does this help and how does it not intrude in our lives? You know, this is really a le uh, less of a big deal than people think it is. If they know your height and weight, they already know your BMI. This, is, this isn't some big deal. You know, li driver's license for years have included height and weight, and I think they stopped on weight because people had a tendency see the low ball. But here's the thing. You end up forfeiting freedoms when you ask other people, fellow countrymen, to pick up the tab for the consequences of those choices. So what we've done is we've become a nation that's made ourselves sick and we've got a price tag that we're making everyone pay for. We have chronic illness. About 50% of us are chronically ill. That price tag is $750 billion annually and three quarters of it fully avoidable by different lifestyle choices. We've got to stop asking other people to pick up the tab and I think the government would get out of the way. But, but by that token, by that same token, Mimi, uh, if we go down that road, then we should start mandating that everybody has to go to college because in the end, uh, you know, uh, well, if, you make me, if you make me pay for but, not going to college, But there's I don't a get societal that. cost of unemployment, and it, you know, we know that if folks go to college, they're going to be, they have more likely to be employed. So let's force everybody to go to college. Uh, so we force well, I'm not really employed, following so. that argument on but, this. But back to the BMI, then how does it lower the cost then? You were talking about how much it costs this country, the obesity problem. Right. Well, how does it help That's us? That's a great question. track every American. The BMI. reality is more than 70 percent of us do not fully recognize the degree of our own obesity. So this helps bring that information and put it in front of us and say, yeah, look, right, this, maybe, you're, in a, you're in a danger zone. Sorry to interrupt. You recognize just as much as health professionals in this country that BMI is wildly inaccurate. Well, it fluctuates only if and, you're and a all... bodybuilder or a professional no, athlete. No, no, no. It's all pretty much relevant. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on maybe. All we're, doing, all we're doing is guessing, taking height and weight and then factoring in a BMI. That doesn't give you an accurate BMI. It's, it's and an, we've seen people wait, who are wait, 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 perfectly wait. healthy who are measured obese by wait, BMI. Wait, wait, wait. This is a non-invasive, really cheap initial screening. This well. isn't a final diagnosis. But I'm with you, Dave. We could do neck circumference. You could do Japan does waist make circumference. Make it accurate. Yep. And if anybody's got a big waist in Japan, but they make the, the employer but pay. The the so there's other options to us other than BMI. But it really is a good initial screening. But in the end, you're essentially putting a fat stamp on everybody's medical records that, down the road. Based no, you put your own fat stamp no, no, on you yourself. Really do. This so is the a, question, life, a the result question of that, lifestyle The question choice. then is, what Last happens with quick, the, what happens with the public policy implications down the road once we get the fat stamp on the medical health records, what sort of public policy goals are going to then be articulated by folks who have that fat stamp? As long That's as people disturbing. ask someone else to pay the, the price for their decisions, the Constitution doesn't say other people have to pay the price for your freedom. The Constitution Jamie doesn't Roth, give the federal government that power. Andrew Langer, <laughs> thank you both for being here. A passionate uh, debate. Coming up on the show, now that Bethany got married, what next?